Welcome to the concise NetHack video about save scumming in NetHack version 3.6.6. The concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. NetHack is a rogue-like game. That means death is permanent. When you die, the game is over and you have to begin a new game. There is no built-in ability to save your game and restore when you die. Save scumming is the process of saving and restoring your game. So what do you need to know about save scumming? First of all, you can only do it on local computers, not on public servers. You have to be able to get to the file system. The second and most important thing you need to know about save scumming is don't do it. Don't ever do it. It will make you lazy and sloppy. You won't learn the game as well. It'll be less exciting. It's less fun and more like work. It's more tedious. Believe me, I've tried it and I hate it. Uh, there are, though, some legitimate reasons to save scum. One is you can save your game on one computer and restore it on another computer if the versions of NetHack and the operating system match. Another legitimate reason to save scum is for tasks like I'm doing now. Making these concise NetHack videos would not be as smooth if I didn't save scum. So, uh, how do you save scum with NetHack? The first thing you have to do is find your playground location. Every operating system has a playground, a different playground location, a location where the save, the uh, files get saved when you save the game. You can look around your operating system and maybe stumble on it. You can check nethackwiki.com. There's a saves coming article there that has several operating system playground locations. I'm running Windows, uh, Windows 10. For Windows 10, the uh, playground location is percent local app data percent slash net hack. So I type that into my Windows Explorer and hit enter, and it takes to, takes me to my uh, playground location. It's got a file there or a folder there with my current version of net hack. If I look inside, I see all these different uh, files. Now I play with a player name of Tog. So I believe TOG.1 is uh, dungeon level 1, or maybe it's TOG.0. But these are the different dungeon levels uh, for my current in-process game. So I want to save scum, save my current state. The first thing I do is save the game with a Shift-S, really save, yes. NetHack goes away, and you can see that it's compressed all of my different uh, level save files into a single save file, my player name .net hack save game. If I want to save save uh, save scum, all I do is copy this file and restore it. Paste. There we go. Paste. And now I have a copy of my save game. I can save it in the same folder. I can save it somewhere else. I can rename it. Uh, let me rename this one. I'll call it. NetHack save game, save scum. All right. Sure you want to change it? Yes. Now if I launch a new copy of uh, NetHack, it will load my tog.nethack.save game. I can modify it, change. I, I mean, I can play my game, and if something happens and I need to restore, I will, uh, or if I die, this file will disappear. Then I just, so let's pretend I died. That file is now gone. I can go back to my saved file, uh, rename it to the original name, tog nethack save game, and then next time I launch nethack, it will restore my game from that saved file. Um, that's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise nethack video about saves coming, and I hope you never actually do it. Thank you for watching.